Good morning and welcome back. So we're here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And we've been here for two weeks now and we've had a really good time. But today it's time to pack up and move on down the road. We're heading just down the road to Panama City Beach, Florida. Now it's only 113 miles if we could drive on the coast. But because the size of our camper and the route that we need to take, we're going to have to backtrack up to I-10. So we got about 150 miles in about three and a half hours. Now I've already walked off the exit points of this park and once we get over our site, it shouldn't be too terrible. There's just a few turns we have to watch out for the branches. Now let's go back to the camper and get it packed up and get on down the road. Okay, because we have such a short travel day, we really didn't do much yesterday to get ready to go. As you can see right here, we have all this stuff right here staged because it goes in the toy hauler on travel day. And coming around here on the back side, we have left everything hooked up. Now, this morning, I'll go ahead and pick up our sewer, our power, our water, and our cable. But if we had a long travel day, I would have done most of this stuff yesterday, except for the power and the water. Now, while I'm getting everything ready out here, at least it's inside, getting the inside ready. So before I disconnect the sewer, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump all my gray water. So that way we don't have to travel with that much extra weight. So I'll just pull these guys right here and let her drain. And while they're draining, I'll come over here and start getting all of my sewer tubes ready. So when we bought this camper, we only had one of those guys. I installed this one and this one, so I have three sewer tubes available for all travels. And as you can tell, I'm using two of them right now. But sometimes whenever the sewer is in a weird spot, we have to use two for the front one and one for the back one to make it reach. So we have a whole box just for our sewer stuff. And I have these gloves right here. The gloves are a must when you touch sewer stuff because, well, it's sewer stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up our sewer line and our cable line. I'm gonna leave the power and the water hooked up until Alicia is done inside. And those will actually be the last two things we undo before we drive off. Okay, so I have the sewer picked up and I have the cable picked up. All right, Alicia. What is it you doing here while I'm out there doing boy stuff? Well, I start in the front room, our bedroom, because the girls are usually asleep or occupied. So I try to get this room all the way done so I can shut it off and we can pull the slide in. Then I move to the bathroom, the kitchen, and when Ashlyn finally wakes up, we do her room last. Usually we tag team the room, huh? Yeah. Because there's, I already showed them the stuff outside that has to come inside. Yep, and there's a million toys in there. So I get their clothes out the night before so that we don't have to worry about that. And then we put up all of our tension rods and we're ready to go. I thought I was done in here. And look, always go for a double check. Yeah. These were hanging on. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't have come off, but just in case they won't scratch the door. That's right. So, and make sure this door is always locked. And That's make right. sure your doors are always in <laughs> because a slide will Hi. rip those off too. Kayla, you, he, you in here inspecting? You gonna help? We've already swept, we're good. So this slide's just about ready to come in? Yes. So while Alicia finishes it up in there, I'm gonna come out here and take my bumpers off. I put these on the slide because I work right here. And this guy right here, it only takes one time hitting it and you'll never run into it again. So I just cut pull noodles in half and slide them over the edge. Okay, the bumpers are off so you can put the slide in whenever you're ready. All right. So I just checked the air pressure in the tires. And since we've been here two weeks now and it's been cold a couple of nights, they're all low. So in order to fill them up, all we gotta do is come over to the truck, start the engine up and turn on my onboard air compressor. And once it gets full, we'll fill the tires up. In order to fill up my tires, I have an onboard air compressor and I installed an air chuck right here on the bumper. All I gotta do is hook up my lines and I can fill all my tires on my trailer or my truck. Now that I have all my tires aired up, I'll go ahead and double check that my tire link system is now working correctly. And usually just by taking the sensors off and putting them back on after I fill the tires, it wakes them back up and they start working just fine. And now since my air compressor is full, I'll go ahead and come over here to the truck and I will go ahead and pre-fill my airbags to about 80 PSI. That way when I set the weight down, it's pretty close to where I need it to be. So here is the kids room. It is no way I'm gonna travel like this on a travel day. So we're gonna get this back room ready to travel and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So the first thing we do is raid the Happy Jack and the bed up, lock them in place. And then we actually have two pack and plays that we uh, set up and strap down to the floor and fill with all their toys. There's our stroller. There's our ice chest out of the back of the truck. Here's our stools. And for their clothes and toys, we actually use these tension rods right here 
across every one <laughs> over there and right there so now we're ready to travel because the back room's done the living room's almost done but we're usually at the last stage right now we're 90 percent there daddy talk so to me so how long do you think it takes us to pack up yeah if okay. we wanted to get ready to go what time is it now um almost 11. so we started this around nine o'clock so yeah. in two hours we're roughly ready to go down the road right okay now that we're almost ready i'll come back over here to our one control and I will go check on our water system. I'm going to turn off the electric hot water heater, the gas. And I'm going to turn off my water tank heaters. They could have gone off a couple days ago, but it has been in the freezing temperatures at night, so I left them on. Now, I'll make sure to turn off the AC, and we should be just about ready to pull the jacks up and hook up to the truck. All right, Alicia, what are you doing? Double checking cabinets. Make sure everything's closed before we pull in the slides. Just got done sweeping. I think we're ready to go. So one time when I was by myself, <laughs> I left this one open yeah, it, and it actually will stop the slide from moving. It opens a it little It also funny took now. quite a bit of work to make it a square square again, which wasn't much because there's nothing square in here anyway. You don't, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready though. Girls are strapped in, buddies in the so car. So our next step is to bring the slides in. And before we do that, we always leave both doors open because it will pop your ears when they, the slides come in. And we always make sure that this door is open because our next step is to relieve the jacks. And people have been known to rip their doors off with these steps because oh, yeah. they will have the door closed. And when they let the jacks out, the steps come up and rip the door off. No good. Which would be a real, a real big deal. A real inconvenience. Because I'm sure they just have doors laying around oh, at the yeah. factory right now. I'm sure it would damage your steps too. So anyway, we're going to pull the slides in and we're going to get the jacks out and we're going to hook the truck up and then we'll talk about how we're going to get out of here. All right. All right. Now that we got everything done, we're going to go ahead and close this door. And then once we got the door closed, we'll go ahead and pick up these rear jack blocks and we'll go ahead and hook the truck to the camper okay now that we have the camper hooked up we're going to go ahead and unhook our water and our electric and then we're going to have a conversation about how we're going to get out of here so here's what we got to deal with <clears throat> our camper's right here okay and we have to make a left turn so we're probably going to have to ask him to move his truck he should be okay, okay. and then you just need to make sure my tail swing doesn't hit anything on that side it probably won't because i already moved the picnic table are you gonna move and back up some i was thinking about it i might pull forward and back up on that side of the pad yeah okay i'm ready when you are all right so he, he's moved pretty good so i'm gonna try to just do it without having to uh back up oh okay you got plenty of room if you want to back up all right you ready yeah picnic table. Yeah, I think you're going to be fine. Alright, go ahead and come on get in. Alright. Okay, so we have two turns coming up here. Okay. The first one's easy. Actually, they're both pretty easy. But the second one involves us missing branches. Ah. It's not a hard turn, but we got to watch out for what's up in the air. Hey, we got that new roof. Well, I don't want to test it out. I don't, he said it was good, <laughs> but I don't want to find out. Yeah, I don't either. But it's not. Especially not in this place where it rains off and on. So but the good much. news is they're from Florida, so we'd be closer to the, the place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Closer to getting it fixed. We could just show up until it gets fixed. <laughs> So there's one last thing we have to worry about. What's that? Remember coming in how low these branches were on this little road? Yeah. So I looked at the AC units and I'm pretty sure some of them may have touched the AC units. Oh no. <laughs> so we gotta get like three miles down the road before we get back to the highway. Okay, good luck. Looks like there's more traffic today too. So we might not be able to straddle that middle lane. Well, we'll figure it out. The middle line. <laughs> we're going to the left. Like, look at this one right here. Like that's the entrance. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Off to Panama City Beach. What do you know? Can you see what's what's on that windshield there? I'm, I'm not mad about the rain today because we've been on the beach for two weeks and it's 
it's washing off the uh, the salty right. and beachy grind. I just love there's no rain in the forecast yet. We hook up and we it's, it's like as soon as the truck hooks to the camper, let's start raining. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yesterday when I went to get the oil changed in the truck, uh -huh. I went to this place right here. It's Take 5 place? Yeah, it's called Take 5. It's drive through oil change. You don't have to get out of the car at all. Yeah. So when I show up, he comes outside and goes, hey man, did you bring your own oil and filter? And what? I was like, no, I didn't. He goes, well, sorry, I can't help you then. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I can only change your oil if you brought your own oil and filter. And I was like, well, that's really weird because you're an oil change place. That's, that puts a new meaning on self-service. <laughs> like, if I had my own oil and filter, why wouldn't I just do it myself? Right. <laughs> so he told me he has no oil or filters. So I go to the next place and I was like, hey man, this is a weird question, but do you have oil and filters? He goes, of course we do. We're an oil change place. Why wouldn't we? I was like, you're not going to believe what just happened right down the road. Okay. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Florida. The Sunshine State. <laughs> Except today. So, Marshall just called and he's at the campground. Yeah. He says it's 70 and beautiful there. And right now, it's not beautiful, and it's 55 degrees. And how far away are we? Uh, we're probably like an hour and a half there. Oh my goodness. So hopefully this is not following us there, yeah. and it's going the other way. I hope we don't bring the rain. So it looks like Marshall was telling the truth. It's uh, 76 out and the sun's back. Yeah. And we are six miles away from the RV park. Hey, I have a question. What's that? Did you tell him who Marshall is? No, Marshall <laughs> is an old work friend from the oil field. Yeah, and what? He's gonna be where? He's gonna be at the RV park with us. That's right. He's gonna spend a few days here. So it looks sunny and beautiful outside. Ready to get there and get unpacked. Is this your most favorite beach in the world, Alicia? It's my most favorite place in the world. Even after all the beautiful places you've taken me to, nothing beats Panama City Beach. Sometimes you can't take the East Texas out of the girl. <laughs> Are we set? Yep. Can we change our checkout date? Yeah. We're side. 32 and she said there's three ponds here to fish in Ooh. can you get a fishing license here no but i'm sure i don't have to go far <laughs> Daddy, I, I to you want to hold the map well let me get to the spot then you can hold the map she okay she said she's going to help you with the outside stuff oh, okay i told her you would appreciate that help We're backing up just a little because we have a concrete pad here and the steps were kind of close to it. So he's gonna reposition us. Okay, come test the steps. All right, so we're about as close as we want to get. Yeah, that's much better. So we thought we had the perfect spot, but check this out. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> So where are you going, backward or forward? I'm gonna go backward and I got it closer to this tree because I thought it'd give us more room in the front. It did give us more room but in now the front. We need some more back on this ah. side. <laughs> oh, we're good now. Let's see. Show the people. There we go. <laughs> now that we had the jack box down, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take some of the load off the truck. Okay, once I have the trailer sitting on the jacks, Alicia gets in the truck. I come up here. I disconnect the hitch and she pulls it out. Ready? Yep, you're ready. All right. Now, once she's out of the way, I come back here and I hit my auto level button and it starts doing its sequence. And while it's doing that, we come back here and we make sure the back jacks 
or line them up over the jack pads. All right, so change of plans. The front never went below the horizon, so it timed out, so we're gonna have to manually level on this one. Okay, so we had to manually level, but it's the same as the auto level, except for you have to do it yourself. So guess what? What's up? It went auto level because we're uphill, so the front never went low enough. Ah. So I had to manually level it. Ah. All right, so before we put our slides out, we have to come in this back door and check a few things. All right, so the first thing we do is come here and we open this door and we check up here to make sure nothing has slidden forward during travel, which we're good. And then we go up to the kitchen. And once we're in here, we make sure none of our doors and nothing has moved or shifted that'll get in the way of the slides. I'm good in here. Alicia says we're good in there. You can go ahead and take that slide out if you want. Okay. They're right here. Okay. So I'm gonna put this slide out. Hey buddy, are you concerned about all the noises? Helping it. You're, you're helping it? Are you pulling it out? Don't pull too hard. I want you to pull it off camper. All right, Alicia, what are you gonna work on in here? First thing I do is sweep because even though I just swept before we left, it gets very dusty on the road. So I'm gonna get it swept and then I kind of do the opposite of what I do packing. I start in their room and work my way forward because once I get their toys unpacked, they'll start playing and then I can do the rest. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna go hook up the electric, the sewer and the water. Since our camper is so low, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pads here so we don't run into it. Even though it's low enough, I probably shouldn't hit that. I probably will anyway. Hey, hey Kayla, you gonna help me? Y'all yeah. both gonna help me? Yeah. What do you, you don't even know what that does, but you wanna help okay? Yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is hook up our power, our water, and then we'll get to the sewer. We're gonna do what? We don't need to take it out of poo poo. We're gonna hook the sewer up so we can have poo poo? Yep. Can I have my gloves? Yep. I see you got your gloves on already. Yep, and I got yours for you as a little thing. Well, I only need two, I don't need three. I don't have three hands. All right, I'm gonna put my gloves on, then we'll hook up the poo poo hoses. Okay. Never knew a kid could be so excited about poo poo hose. So we got the water, the electric, and the sewer hooked up. Now we're gonna head inside and help Alicia finish the inside. All right, now that we have most of everything hooked up outside and the inside's coming together, I come over here to my one control and we turn on our electric water heater, our gas water heater. And since it's not gonna be freezing, we don't need to worry about anything else. And we're gonna double check our level because usually after we've been setting up, it might shift a little bit. It's like right there, we're, we're down in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and make a few changes. And there you go. Up oh, the front, up, oh, there you go. All right, so that's that. Even whenever we auto level when it works, after we have the slides out and been moving things around, we come back and check it needs a little adjustment. It only took us about an hour and a half to get set up here. Yeah, I still have one more room. I haven't done our bedroom. It's almost done. Yeah, it, won't, it takes like 10 minutes. It's the easiest one. That's not too bad. No. Two hours to get packed, four hours of driving, hour and a half unpacked, and we're at a new spot in Panama City Beach. Well, now Mama wants to know what's for dinner. <laughs> All right, but first, before we go find dinner, let's go walk around this park and see what they got going on here. What kind of camper is that behind you? It's a grand design momentum. What kind of we camper is that? Solitude. Two down. We saw another grand design. It's like a grand design rally in I here. I know, we could have our own little rally. And then there's that one guy on the front who has his pan like a bass boat. Oh yeah. He, I have no idea what kind of his, model that is. On the front of his, it said he it had an RV park name. It's, so uh, it's that, over there. It's like neon, <laughs> neon green and blue. Yeah, it's kind of awesome. Ashton, I got a question. What? Do you know where the pool is? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, it's right there? Where's our camper? Man, look how close we are to the pool. 
You think we can go swimming in it? Mm -hmm. I kind of hope we can because we've never been this close to the pool. It's basically in our front yard. We could almost say it's our pool. Hey, Alicia. Yeah. What do you think about this place so far? It seems peaceful here. There's I like all the pine three trees. lakes. There's this one. There's one right over there. Look, there's a little swing. And there's one, one right over there. Yeah. Oh, this seems nice. Ashlyn, come look. What? What is that? It's a. Looks like a starfish on a seashell. Yeah. Someone painted it, like the rock we just found. Yeah. Are we gonna take it and rehide it? We still gotta rehide our rock too. Are we gonna hide the cardinal here? You wanna hide it here? The rock we found with the bird on it? I to keep it with us. You wanna keep it with us? Yeah, but the idea is we hide it yeah, so somebody else can find it. So somebody else can find it. So we'll it. hide the cardinal here and take that one to the Whoa. next place. That's two places in a row. We're doing good. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got to see what it's really like on a travel day when you're full time in an RV. We're going to go find some dinner now. Catch y'all later.